morning everybody. So today we're going to um, shopping and we, it's really cold outside. Right now it's eight degrees, but there's a wind chill of like negative something crazy. So pretty typical, but we're all bundled up and gonna head to the store and do some shopping. So I'll take you with me. I didn't vlog yesterday, um, which is been kind of weird because I vlogged it for 25 straight days, but took yesterday off and now we're back. We're at IHOP. What are we gonna get here, Manny? I don't know. I think we're gonna get cheesecake stuffed french toast. We're in this. We just ate, by the way. It was really good. We got that, um, what's it called? Stuffed French toast. I got the Oreos and cream one. Is that what it's called? Oreo, something about Oreos. It was really good. And then Manny cookies and Mom. And <laughs> cookies and cream. That's what it's called. But it was Oreos. Um, and then, and then my mom got, um, the strawberry one. And Manny got strawberries. Strawberry one. Um, and then we had a hard time in there because only half of the restaurant was open. And so they sat us in like the most crowded area ever. But then we, when we left, somebody was sitting on the other side. So I don't, I don't know. So we're home and my mom and dad have this cat that is usually outside. But tonight it's getting below zero temperatures. So I brought the cat inside because um, it's just, what I mean, I would, I would leave it inside. My mom's allergic to cats. But um you know, for tonight, definitely, she can't be outside, so. Right out here, he said. Right away. Right, yeah. right so we're gonna get the litter box. Dad, where's the litter box? It's really cold outside. Indiana gets really, really, like, bitter cold. Which I know a lot of you guys, where you live, does too. But anyway, her little paw came out under there. I used to have this cat, um that we called Blue, and my niece Kara called her Blue Dot, and the night of our wedding, she, um, somebody took her or something, and it was really sad, because I really loved her. Um, but anyway, this cat, my niece started calling Gray Dot, because she has a little gray dot on her. I'll show you her. This is her. She's a little box. I wish I could take her with me back to New Mexico, because I would love her. So I got some serious hat hair right now. Look at this, like, what? Uh, okay, so anyways, today was fun. We went shopping, and I'm wearing this new shirt that my mom got me. It's like velvety. It is so nice and comfy. She got me a bunch of velvet stuff for Christmas, as you may have seen when I opened my gifts in the Christmas Day vlog. Um, but I was using that mask, that Neutrogena acne mask, when I was at home in New Mexico. Um, I have two homes now, which is strange. Home in Indiana is my original home, and now I'm home in New Mexico, too. But... Um, anyways, I was using that and I had no breakouts whatsoever, but I didn't bring it with me because it's kind of big and I probably could have, I didn't bring that much stuff, but I didn't know. And so, I didn't bring it and I've kind of noticed a little bit more, so I think that was definitely what was helping. Um, so I'm definitely excited to get back to using that. It has helped tremendously. And I'm going to brush my eyelashes. Next time I go, as I said before, I'm going to ask her to make them a little more dramatic because uh, I want to try that out. I do love them the way that they are, but I want to try them out a little more amped up so I'm gonna go back and not this Saturday but next and I'm gonna have her do that and so I've really been loving them though they are not uncomfortable at all they're easy for me to take care of I've really um had a good experience so I'm definitely gonna keep getting them so I brush them out like this I've been taking good care of them haven't worn mascara on them you're not supposed to but I haven't been and um I really like them. Yeah, I've been wanting like a little puppy for like the longest time and I still do 100% but with like the apartment we're in right now and everything I don't really necessarily know if that would be good. I mean people do have dogs in our apartments and we're allowed to but we have to pay like more rent. I mean I just really would like to have a puppy. I've never had one um, like of my own and they're really fun and cute and I think it would just be something fun. I have the kind of job that I could definitely make it work like as far as coming home to let it out and everything but that's just not something that's happening right now, and I really love cats. I just love cuddling a little kitten, so I would really like to have one of those. And that might be a little more practical right now. Um, so, 
we'll see what happens. I really, I just love cats. And, and when, when we lost Blue Dot, when somebody either took her, or I don't think she ran away. I don't think she would have, but she was actually like in our wedding. Like my niece carried her in a basket down the aisle. It was the cutest thing ever. But um, anyways, when she got taken or whatever, I was like really super upset because I was really, I loved her. I got really attached to her. Um, and I've never really had an animal of my own. My mom has always been like allergic to animals and stuff, so we've never really had them. But anyway, I would love to. But so anyway, I'm gonna put my onesie on. My mom got me this cute little onesie that has snowmen on it, and it's so nice. And um, it's not like too hot, like I can sleep in it without getting too hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and then wash my face. And this is kind of more of what that thing looks like. It's really cute and it's like cozy and I'm loving velvet. Like all things velvet. Okay, so no lighting in here is not gonna be very good. Look at my little fuzzy socks. <laughs> They're so nice. Um, but anyways, I got this Calvin Klein backpack today. Um, looks like this in the back. The straps say Calvin Klein. Um, it was about $60 at Marshall's. Um, really nice, really good quality. Um, and really, I don't, like, necessarily, like, need a backpack. Um, I have that gold one, and this, like, won't fit my laptop or my iPad, but I have that gold one that I'll use for work stuff like that that I love that Manny got me for Christmas. It's a Victoria's Secret one that he got me from Chris for Christmas, um, last year. I love it, but I just love the way this one looked, and I just really wanted to get it, and I don't, I'm not like a person that has like a bunch of purses or anything, and I really love backpacks, and I love the way that this one looked, um, and I was just super into it, so I'm like, why not get, you know, one for just everyday use or for whatever, you know, um, so anyway, I guess it was originally $158, and I got it for $60, so it's really super nice, and I love it, I love the black and white, they had black and red that my mom tried to talk me into getting, because she thinks that this might get dirty, but the material that it is, really easy to clean, so I think that it's really cute, and I love it, I think it's just super, like, nice and clean looking, and just really cute, so got that. Everybody in my family, basically, has had the stomach flu since, um, after... Well, actually, on Christmas Day, basically, like Christmas night, everybody started to feel sick, and um, it started out with my mom. She started feeling nauseous, and she never, like, threw up or anything, but she was not feeling well, and then um, my nieces were all growing up, and I think it actually may have started with them. They've been sick off and on with different things, and then my nephew was throwing up for, like, all night on Christmas night, and... Uh, the next day after and then my mom was feeling way better she never really got sick and then today she was totally fine went shopping she was doing good and then tonight she's not feeling well again she just went to bed with chills and um i got her some medicine and some things like that and some crackers because i got her you know a few crackers because she was feeling nauseous and that usually settles her stomach so hopefully she's not getting sick i'm going to show you guys my mom and dad's stairs at their house the way they're decorated i think it looks really pretty for christmas um Obviously Christmas is over, but man, I would leave out Christmas decorations year-round if I could, honestly. Probably not going to talk when I'm in there because their room is right up the stairs and uh, their door is not totally closed. Uh, she wanted to leave it open, I don't know. So. It's like really pretty. It looks like this. And this is her little set up in the in the front of the house she made this it took her days but she made it isn't it beautiful it's just ornament like an ornament wreath i love it so today is thursday already this week is unfortunately flying by we um it's like the middle of the day it's what time is it right now 2 11 um wear my Grey's anatomy shirt just really having a relaxing week, not really um, getting dressed a lot, but right now I'm getting ready. My mom is still really not feeling well, so I'm getting ready to go to town and get her some Sprite. I made cookies this morning, those peanut butter ones with the kisses in the middle, so they smell really good. All right, got my coffee from Burger King. I really like their iced coffee a lot. And then have the pop that we wanted. It like comes in one of those glass bottles, like a cream soda or something. But they didn't have it, which I'm pretty sure we're the only people that ever bought it, so they probably don't carry it anymore. 
but um we got this we really like this one too we don't really drink pop very much anymore but we like any kind of blue pop <laughs> um i like others too but i just try not to drink it um so yeah it's pretty cold today like i said and um pretty cold inside too but we've kept it the heat up really really high come over here <laughs> oh the baby the little baby look at the camera look at the camera look in there who's that is that gray dot so we are just kind of hanging out me and gray dot been taking care of my mom she's gonna like this on my sweatshirt <laughs> anyway i've been taking care of my mom um, all night because she was really really sick running a high fever and everything and um, just really not feeling well I gave her some Tylenol and then my sister said that I should my sister well my sisters work in the medical field um, like extremely smart and so I told my sister and she said that I should give her ibuprofen as well as Tylenol um, not just Tylenol because like it was really bad like the fever was really bad um, she didn't feel that hot, but, like, she was having really extreme chills again and everything. So, um, anyway, so I did that, and she's feeling actually a little bit better, but she's just kind of resting, and she was awake when I came in here, but I just came to check on the cat that is biting my shirt right now. Okay, Manny's peeking in. She's just kind of chilling down here. She reminds me so much of Blue Dot. <laughs> Great Dot. Yeah, totally different cat, but they look completely different. And Blue Dot had blue eyes, and she has green eyes. Oh, yeah. Like, look how she just kicked back. <laughs> I didn't even put her like that. She just did that to herself, and she's not moving. As I told you guys before, I had this cat, and if you didn't see that part of the vlog, I think it, it may not have made the vlog, but we'll see, because I don't even know what I recorded. I, I just edit things out that sometimes I wish I hadn't. But um, I had this cat named Blue, I named her Blue because her eyes were blue, and um, my niece, Janessa, started calling her Blue Dot. No idea why. I thought it was cute because she didn't even change the name. She just, like, added to it, you know? <laughs> so she started calling her Blue Dot, and then she was like, I love this cat. I was, like, still living with my parents, so I would come home, and I would just like, get up early and feed her and take care of her and then come home and really look forward to seeing her. I just loved her. She was in my wedding and all of that, and then the night of my wedding, Manny and I were gone that night, and, um... She just was gone. Never saw her again. After that, the last time I saw her was at our wedding, and I was really, really sad about it. Like, I was completely devastated. Um, I'm assuming somebody took her. So anyway, that's why I say she reminds me of Blue Dot. She looks absolutely nothing like her. She just is really sweet like a Blue Dot. Trying on some of the new clothes that my mom got me, and they're really, really cute. Um, so anyways, trying on some of that just to make sure it all fits. That way, if it didn't, I could you know let her take it back but everything fits and everything i love everything i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog um i was just gonna keep it going until um i go back to new mexico but i wanted to go ahead and end it and i'll start a new one tomorrow on friday and i'll keep that one going until new mexico i'll probably edit that one on sunday um and get it up sunday so anyways i didn't want it to be like too huge and tomorrow i really wanted to be focused again on like family inclusion and like including them and when I give my nieces and you know everything their gifts I want them to kind of be like the center focus of, of it and everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it because my mom is um you know sleeping she's trying to sleep off this sickness so I have some time to just edit it my dad's in bed he goes to bed pretty early it's like it's almost 10 I think so um so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and like get it edited and everything and and start uploading it. Probably won't be uploaded until sometime tomorrow because this is really slow internet. But thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me. Um, again, I'm really trying to not be sad. It's really hard for me as it gets closer every day uh, to going back to New Mexico. Um, you know, it's nothing against New Mexico at all because you guys know how much I love it there and how much I truly love living there. And I have to remind myself of that every time I come home. Um, not because I love Indiana because honestly like it's not indiana i really don't like indiana <laughs> that sounds so bad it's not that i don't like it it's just like there's such little opportunity especially for what i do and everything it's just really a hard place to 
to thrive and it's boring and it's just you know it's just not the place i just love the people you know it is home and i still do enjoy you know going down memory lane you know and and uh, going to places that i used to go to all the time and uh mostly though it's it's strictly because of my family and and um you know being away from them the kids you know um that's hard because <laughs> You know, kids don't understand and everything, and my niece Janessa has been so excited that I'm home, and, um, you know, it just feels like every time I leave, it's like we have to do that all over again, and and so it's hard, but I know that what I'm doing there is what God has called me to do, and I know that, you know, he's called me to it, he's going to bring me through it, he's not just going to call me to something that I'm not able to handle, um, you know, and I know that I can do it, and like I said, I just learned to just go day by day, and you know, I get to be here right now in this moment and get to be with my family in this moment. So I'm not going to stress and whine right now um, because I get this this moment and I'm going to be thankful that I get this time. So, um, you know, but this next couple of days, I'm going to try to not be upset about leaving or anything like that. I do leave Saturday. I won't be missing any Sundays through this trip. Um, so I will be home for service on Sunday. Um, and then Sunday, I actually think I might be doing somebody's makeup that day, actually, for New Year's. So, um, you know, I love our apartment. I love New Mexico. I love the people there. I've never had better friends. I'm serious. Um, you know, moving away, it really helps you to see who your friends are. And so I realized that, you know, my entire family is here, but, um, you know, I have such amazing friends in New Mexico. And so I have two homes now. Um, you know, Indiana will always be my, my home, my main home. Um, but, you know, I'm really thankful for the people that I know in New Mexico that make it easier for me to live there. Um, and make it easier for me to go back. You know, it may not be easy, but they make it easier. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is just kind of me sharing my journey with you guys. So I wanted to say that, um, and maybe if you live far from your family, you know the feeling. You know, it's amazing to go home and see them, but then as it gets closer, it's time to go back. You're like, oh my gosh. Um, I love you guys. Remember that you're incredible. Jesus loves you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.